Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Vietnam. Last time we finally managed to conquer North China with some territories given to our allies, Taiwan, Mongo Mongolia, Tibet, and uh, Yugaristan. Yugaristan. I still will never be able to pronounce the name. So sue me. Uh, no offense. No offense, but anyway, last time we were just making a massive push into Manchuria. We we're getting closer to the capital of Shenyang, and hopefully we might just be able to win this war. Or at least this war, at the very least. In the meantime, however, we're just going to keep advancing wherever we can. I am, however, going to have to do a slight change of strategy of... Maybe not a direct push to Shenyang, but just try and conquer one area after another. All these, gather everything up, and also capture these kind of these areas at least. In this case, Ying Ko, which my ships are going to do uh, provide support. Uh, the rest of the armies try to push through to these hydro dams, which I do have a heavy supply truck right here, so I'll just have to leave them somewhere else. Meanwhile. Zhang Wu is still holding out. The Koreans and East Siberians have not made any progress, unfortunately, for them. Uh, Taiwan, I don't see them launching any new invasions. Although, I do have some of my own ships that are going to be reserved here, of course. Japan, they have not landed any troops, unfortunately, for them. And, oh! Some Taiwanese units are here. Didn't realize that. In Afghanistan, what do you want? Blah 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 blah. I'll accept because we have plenty of plenty plenty of munitions at least. And getting facilities being repaired and built. Okay, there we gotta remove all that. Uh, let's see. That's fine. Uh, okay, you head up to Kangping next. Then we're gonna head towards I can't pronounce that town's name unfortunately. But, we're still making good progress, except why are you attacking here, in Haicheng? I have no idea. Let's see, Dan Shi Kui, I guess, is next? Let's see, here's the capital. A lot of artillery, no surprise there. And Shan has lots of artillery, a lot more artillery there. So, I have to either manually or put a hotspot to attack somewhere. Force size, very heavy. Air support, maybe moderate. Uh, offensive. Attack, or maybe ba may balance that out anyway. But, where to put this? Uh, put one here. Put one here. Maintain that, I guess. But also here, here, and here. I'm pretty sure the AI, however, will make some really stupid decisions, unfortunately. No matter what. But it's worth a try. And we have failed to take the village of Jinmin. So please get over there. Please? There's a lot of artillery on the other side of the river. That's fine. We'll just have to continue on. Air power. Well, 41 aircraft. Most of which are too damaged. Including our other fighters that are way too damaged, more than anything. So, I will have to select the Air Force and select to repair most of them. Unfortunately for SART, 10 units. Select this and scrap, because I don't want to have to deal with these conscripts in the first place. Same with these garrisons, unfortunately. Uh, still have to do this, select them all, select all the other garrisons, if I can. Okay, all the way up to the 3,996 garrisons. There we go, oh, and the uh, airborne unit, that's another one. And scrap. I don't need these. A waste of space and a waste of time, at least in my opinion. Ships. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, there's one that's gonna be needing repairs now. 
Okay, so we've taken all that. Got our forces here. Now we're going to move up toward Anshan. I will remove some of the hot spots, of course, the ones that we took. There we go. Next up, Anshan. Then, of course, the capital. Gotta remove all, remove all these. Whoops. There we go. The artillery are going to be easily wiped out. It's good to know. Remove all this. And... We're taking some losses, unfortunately. Oops, I meant to move up. Okay, I don't think we need any of these hotspots at the moment since the AI will still make some odd decisions as always. Uh, you head toward... Oh, right, we're close to the capital anyway. Just gotta push through, push toward Liao Yang. Um, I don't know about my Air Force. But I'll just send them out anyway. My Navy... Uh, uh, I just lost some of my ships, I'm sorry. Or oh, wait, I just sent them to get rid of No, no, I think they just got some, didn't they? Well, that sucks. Alright, here comes my Air Force. They are going to take a lot of damage. Turn around, I don't care how damaged you are, but... Most, I will retreat. Most, not all. Okay, I guess we are close to the capital now. Just push towards Shenyang now. The rest of my navy? I don't know. Let's see, remove that. Mm. Okay, there's one garrison. Three infantry units and one artillery. Well, make that four since they're gonna keep reinforcing anyway. <laughs> That's one thing to always remind myself. The Koreans... Um... Okay, Shang-Zhi is under attack. Wu Chang? Yeah, Wu Chang is not gonna fall anyway. And we're still not capturing uh, the capital. Most of the units are retreating, though others are primary garrisons that I don't want. Alright then. Can we please take the capital? If the tri the Manchurians would stop sending reinforcements, of course. Alright, there's one left. Haha! <laughs> Capital's taken. Well, once May 22nd... Once it's May 22nd... Oh! Well, that's a rather interesting look. Sort of. So, Manchuria has fallen, but given a very strange look. Mongolia hasn't really gained that much, unfortunately, for them. But... Central Siberia, Eastern Siberia... What? <laughs> what is this? Wait, is this Eastern? Yeah, this is somehow Eastern Siberia. How does that work? I have no idea. The rest are under Korea's control. Japan has only gone a tiny amount of territory. So, uh, sorry for them, I guess. But the rest of the lands are under ours. So now, two... Well, three, actually. Of the most annoying enemies that once made up of China are now erased from the existence. So with that, I guess we we'll just have to just um, prepare whatever we can, but also no longer at war all the time. For the first time, we are finally at peace. Everybody can go home now. Everybody, I do mean everybody now. Uh, just in case I will reselect everybody and then do that so long as the game doesn't uh, lag so much 
all the uh, construction projects that I've been building everywhere have been completed. Others that we took are also being repaired as well. Huh? How exactly does Eastern Siberia have these coal power plants? I have no idea. I really don't know. And something fell. Don't you hurt? I don't know if the mic picked it up, but it's just way it's just what happens, I guess. Anyway, I will however have some of these garrisons get scrapped. I don't want them. Ah, uh, great. Select. All the way down to these. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Scrap them. So, those that are preserved as well... Scrap that. Everybody else? Well, not just leave them alone. Get repaired. Same with my Air Force, of course. I only have one fighter deployed. The rest of my 94 aircraft, whether it's helicopters, fighters, and such, they are going to be repaired anyway. So, checking old 29 aircraft, aircraft fabrications. All producing planes as much as they can. And of course, keep building consumer goods and whatever we need so that our economy doesn't become a problem. But it currently still is. I have, um, I have eight other farms that are being built all across what was China. But most of them are not going to be finished in time, of course. And I got way too many units here. I think they gotta be redeployed to, I guess, the cap near the capital of Hanoi this time. It's probably best choice at the moment. So, yeah, Japanese are still here. Same with our single Korean, well, two Korean transports. Taiwan has a pretty impressive navy right now, at least up here. Japan has only gone a small territory, including the small town of Zhuegu. I don't know how to spell. I don't even know how to say that. But that's fine. In the meantime, I will build up certain additional facilities, along with some others that are still being, as I always said, still being built. Let's see, coal mines. What else? More agriculture. All right. Research efficiency on your hand. We are still going to try research as much as we can, but most of which we have yet to unlock. Unfortunately. Research efficiency will stay at 100%. Technology level on your hand, we have to get this up as much as possible, but... We are currently only spending around 2 million dollars. That's it. Even though we have over 14 other uh, research centers everywhere. So that's going to be a problem. I'll have to increase the maximum of project uh, development. Let's see, more timber mills are finished. Right, so, <laughs> uh, it's a little too many messages right now. Oh, uh, well, there we go. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming up soon. Research efficiency, I'll probably keep that, yeah, I'll keep all this at 100% each. But, uh, task for taxes, and the social spending, of course. Well... I guess I could increase social spending a little bit more. To 80%, I guess. Yep, we're still fine right now. Even though the demands are still somewhat of a problem. Remove all these messages. Uh, what exactly are the Taiwanese forces here doing? Not so sorry, they're just spreading. They have a huge military right now. 
Let's see. Everyone is still at DEFCON 3 or even 2 at the moment. The Philippines, on the other hand, is at DEFCON 1 because they are at war with Myanmar. Who, unfortunately, have not yet collapsed. So that's, uh, one annoyance. India, meanwhile. Still no progress into Pakistan. More messages, including especially the industrial complexes, I guess. In the Middle East. Um, not gonna say anything about Iran. Europe. Moscow is losing territory, but they're not gonna collapse yet. Marcel is still a dominant, a dominant power in Europe right now. Well, second to West Germany and East, well, Southern Germany as well. Although the Czech Republic looks like they're under attack by both South and East Germany, it seems. Over in the Balkans, Serbia is struggling against Bulgaria. Uh, Milan is advanced into South Germany, but I don't know who exactly is going to win this war, at least. Switzerland, not really much in terms of war against East Germany and Moscow, so they are perfectly fine at the moment. Though, are they allies with South Germany? I highly doubt. Oops, uh, let's see, Element OP, URS. Yes, they are allies. Huh, that's a first. Uh, Africa, Burkina Faso, uh, what else? Ethiopia, Sh still shrinking. And nothing else in the southern part of Africa. Amer uh, South America. No progress be no progress for Paraguay and Argentina to well advance deeper into Brazil's territory. Uh, North America. There's hardly any changes other than Texas growing in size. But that's about it. So that's pretty much about at the moment. Uh can remove all these. But I guess we just focus on building whatever we can. Particularly more farms. But I will have to find a very good spot that could produce a lot. 101, 70, 35. The bright areas are kind of dis are somewhat disappointing in certain places. 158, 161, 160. No. These darker areas, though, can produce a lot. So I'll build a lot anyway. Well, not all, of course, since these are... I didn't bother checking, so that's my own fault. And I'll fill that one out. This one... Nope. No. No. Nah. Oh, then again. These are okay, I guess. 130, 195. Okay, that's one patch. Anywhere else. 196, 198. And 131, 198. So those areas. Anywhere in the homeland? A few. A few, but not really much. Ooh. Oops, I uh, didn't mean to build there because. Ah! Scrap, scrap, scrap. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this again. 244, 160, 161, 159. Where else? These would do. Uh, 258 is small space, but I only built three. More over here. No, no, no. Okay. Eh, I didn't bother checking, but that's actually fine. 
So that's a lot of agricultural uh, facilities being built, or farms. A lot, and our economy is not going down anyway. What's our approval rating? Eh, it's gone down a little bit, but that's fine. Timber. Gotta find a good spot to have a lot of trees cut. Uh, those will do. 42. Okay, I'll fill those out. I know I'm building a lot right now, but... Yeah, you got no choice. If the people demanded more wood, might as well just have, just have a lot of timber mills everywhere. Okay, I'll fill that out. Fill that out, and fill this one out. So that's 46 timber mills being built. And that's a lot. Remove all these, including the coal power plants and industrial complexes are done. Fuel, on the other hand... I guess I may have no choice but to fill out... Uh, certain places. But there's no way to know how much... How many barrel... How much barrels I can... Drill, unfortunately, so... It's nothing but a guessing game. Yeah, that's not a very good spot, but I'm just gonna leave it alone anyway. Now, what about up here? There's a lot of areas we can drill for more oil, particularly for the oil derricks. Well, I could fill that out. Any other places? Nope. So, fill that one. But... Uh, I'll fill that out, I guess. That's about it. Where else should I... Huh. And I'll fill that one. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I didn't use son of a bitch. Yep, the drilling is going to be a lot more expensive, unfortunately for me. And these I can fill out, but that's enough. It's, gonna co it's really going to cost a lot to build all these. I can tell. I can tell about that. Uh, well, coal mines. Uh, there's five out of. Mines that are still being built. But I will probably try to build eh, these two, I guess. But also brand new railways as well. So with that, I'll have to see where else. Metal ore, composite ore. That should be about it. Industrial, however, is now skyrocketed. I'm gonna lock him. Now so we can just keep producing more. Hopefully stockpile as well. Okay, Belgium is finally gone, with West Germany gaining the rest of the territory. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Belgium's gone. Wonder who else will be gone. That's my question. Really. Anyway, I have six industrial... Um, hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I told you guys to get reserved. Okay, I think I'll just reserve them here instead, since there's too many at Beijing. You guys get up here. Select these units. You reserve here. I just reserve them wherever I can. Hong Kong's navy is still growing in size, it seems. We still have no new technology to, to uh, research uh, nuclear weapons, but we don't have any other tech. Naval nuclear reactors, nuclear power plants, no. Taiwan, do you have anything? Advanced anti-ship missiles, naval designs, metal storm, we could use those. Could use those, fuel cell, hydroponics plants. Uh, how much would that cost? Five billion dollars. What's their economy? Oh. Uh. I'll just ask. Korea, what do you have? Advanced tank designs, air independent propulsion, laser gyro stabilizers, uh, jet thrust vectoring, biofuel facilities. I guess I'll research get that and those. Um. 
dark matter theories, mid-air refueling fuel cell. Okay, uh, nope. Where is the... here we are. Okay, I'll give them 30 days, but how much are they going to cost? Okay, screw that. So, anyway, we got some new tech. A few. But does that mean we can now build... Yeah, we can finally build some hydroponics. We already have one. But I will have to find places that I can build any. Oh, there we go. Here, here. Uh, probably just two over here. Fill that out. All these other farms are still being built. Anywhere else that's not filled out. There's one over here. Build what? Build farms there, but hydroponics here. Um, all these other areas are going to be filled out anyway. Oh, here. And I think I'll see if there's one more area. Well, one, just one here. One more, just need to find one more. And that's about it. Water, we're still fine. Timber, petrol, we now have bio... We can now build up some biofuel facilities. That's probably for the foreseeable future, though. But now our economy has gone down a little bit. Social spending... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought I locked him from... Ah, whatever. Taxes... Increase a bit to 26% or... Sh no, that's too much. 23% for now. Afterwards, I might... I might reduce the spending a little bit. Okay, I thought I told you to reserve. Yeah, we have a lot of building projects everywhere. Inflation's 3.4, unemployment's 5.3, used to be 6 point something. Well, hopefully all these facilities will be done eventually. So, let's see. All these farms. Oh yeah, I forgot about... Jeez, do I really have to do this? I guess I have no choice but to fill these out. But also, build some new railways. Much better than to build a, you know... A road, a regular road, connect. Now, if I could find another ro Oh, here we are. Yeah, it's not connecting at the moment. I'll just leave it alone. Now, where else? Unfortunately, I can't remember where exactly are the railways that are connected, unfortunately, for me. So, I'm just doing this blind, so I might be building additional railways that I really don't need any additional railways. And unfortunately, I'm a bit blind. So... <laughs> I got to remove this because I'm a wasp. There we go. I will put back the uh, supply view back eventually, but right now I'm just going to connect some more railways. Uh, there's a railway here, but it's not connected. Or, actually they are connected, but it just doesn't look like it. I don't get that. Okay, then. Uh... Bojan Connect to that. Um, go over here, connect to this railway. I got a lot of other railways connected. So... Cannot really tell. Doesn't... Yeah, I think I connected up northward, but... I'm just gonna connect to this way in the end. Which I may have to do this way. Connect to this. 
connect to that. All the way up to here. And then connect to this railway. And I guess that's about it. And why is there just a random military complex here? Okay, um... Um... What exactly should I build here, anyway? Aerospace fabrication? Probably not, since we already have one that's all the way... Well, that's not it. Uh... Uh, where is it? Oh, right, this. Tai Yuan. Along with another one somewhere, if I recall, but... Yeah. So... Right. Well, I guess a mixture of land fabrication and aircraft fabrication, unfortunately, for me. So I'll do that. And that's it. But that area is the middle of nowhere for the uh, regular milled the ground vehicles. So... Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'll just probably leave it there anyway, since we also have a land fabrication here. But, yeah, you know, I'll just connect them anyway, so that we'll connect it to here, I guess. That's about it. More facility construction. And our economy is still shrinking. Approval rating is still going down. Social spending, why is it still reduced? I still don't get it. Probably reducing this so damn far is not a good idea. We'll have to increase some of these individually. Uh, corporate taxes, 10%. High income, 10%. Unemployed, you'll keep that at 2%, I guess. Okay, the new day is already begun. Yep, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, small businesses are going to earn us a lot. Not to increase that, unfortunately. There we go, 15% this time for most of these. Close to 15%, 15.6 in this case. Uh, taxes. Well, sales tax in this case. Um, hmm. They increase this at 15%, I guess. And keep the rest at 2, but, let's see, four one million dollars, 562 million, high income, low income. Hmm. Uh, slight increase by 1%, I guess, for the small businesses and uh, low income. Doesn't really make sense, though. Or, I should just increase anyway, just by 1%. All these are going to remain somewhat. But that's kind of about it. So go back to supply views and... Well, at least everything is fine and dandy. Wait a minute. What's the expense? 11 billion... Right. We still have a lot of debt we have to repurchase, so this is 13 billion dollars, we have plenty of money, but I would rather see this go back to go back up, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Pause. Well, this is a slight annoyance, our economy's gone down again. But hopefully it'll go back up. Though, I may have to make a time skip between this between this video and the next one so I'll be doing another time skip so that we could hopefully see that the economy would improve a bit including our ahem, approval rating and oh yeah try to uh, build up our military once more our army's massive but our air force and navy navy's somewhat large air force not much but, hope you enjoyed this, and see you again in the next episode.